Hello everybody, it is me, Super Godzilla Final Wars here, and today I am back with another video. This one is going to be about a very, very interesting What If video. This one is going to be about what if there was a female Godzilla in the MonsterVerse. Now, for starters, this, this might be an, a little series I'll do, like a little series of what ifs for the MonsterVerse. I believe I've done a couple, like the majority of them for the Anime Godzilla Trilogy. But now I have a lot of interesting ideas for the MonsterVerse. I, interesting what is for the MonsterVerse. And the first one is going to be about, well, what if there was a female Godzilla in the MonsterVerse? How does this change the majority of the MonsterVerse? Well, we gotta go all the way back to Godzilla Awakening. So, for starters, we'll this female gods will be rather related to Godzilla or to be Godzilla's mate. For this scenario, I'm just going to choose it to be Godzilla's mate. Now, obviously we have no idea if rather the MonsterVerse Godzilla is rather the last of its kind or there could be another Godzilla out there hiding. Well, what we have to find out, right? That is to wait for another Godzilla movie from the MonsterVerse come out. Now, if that is the case, if there is another Godzilla out there, it could be rather a male, which that could be a problem, considering that the majority of male animals in real life will fight all the time for territory. But if it's a female, then that would basically be the answer to saving Godzilla's species from going extinct let alone making sure he has a legacy. Now, if there was a, a female Godzilla in the MonsterVerse, again, we're going to go all the way back to Godzilla Awakening. So, we also know that Godzilla was awoken to fight that one Kaiju Shiromiro or something like that. I honestly have no idea how to pronounce that guy's name. But... If there was a female Godzilla, I'm pretty sure she'll be rather awoken by the same reason, or by the nuclear test, or, or by the or by the nuke that was trying to kill Godzilla and Shiromiro, or whatever. If that's the case, then she'll most likely be awoken, and she'll be sensing Godzilla, and she'll be trying to find Godzilla. Now, we this is where we leave off for Godzilla Awakening. Now, for Godzilla 2014, since we literally have no idea what was Godzilla doing during the events of Kong Skull Island and the anime Skull Island animated series. But for Godzilla 2014, we definitely know what he was definitely, what Godzilla was doing during that time. That's in Godzilla Aftershock as well. Now... When Godzilla is hunting the Mutos, I believe that this female Godzilla will be looking for, well, Godzilla. But, and Monarch will not just have one Godzilla, they will have two Godzillas. The military would be on a tight situation if they find out that they have, that they are, well, there's two Godzillas. 
Now, obviously, they can clearly tell that the female Godzilla is tracking down the male Godzilla. Or we can even do this a different way and have the female Godzilla be hunting the Mutos and the male Godzilla is looking for the female. But again, for this scenario, we're having the female Godzilla to find the male Godzilla. And I'm just going to call the female Godzilla Gorgirin, which might be the title for this video. And she's not going to be a full-on pink Godzilla. She might be a slightly, maybe like a little bit of a different color than Godzilla. Maybe like, maybe her dorsal spines can be like a dark purple-ish color. Besides of that, I think she'll remain as the same color as Godzilla, but with dark purple dorsal spines. And her atomic breath can even be dark purple. Or purple, whichever. Whichever you choose in the comments below. Anyways. Um. So. For the first fight with Muto, I'm pretty sure Female Godzilla will arrive shortly. I'm pretty sure Gorgirin will arrive shortly after. Looking around for a bit. Military will be confused. And then Monarch. No. Let's say Dr. Stairs now realizes that this is a female Godzilla. She's looking for the male. Oh, and they, and both Monarch, and both Dr. Zawa and his assistant, thought that Godzilla was the last of kind. Now, this will probably make the military a bit more on edge, because now they got a both male and female Muto, and a male and female Godzilla. Now, this is where... Um, the Golden Gate Bridge scene will show up. After Godzilla will, will arrive and destroy the Golden Gate Bridge, Gorgira will arrive shortly after, and this is where she meets Godzilla for the first time. The, Godzilla will be a little hesitant at first, because he doesn't really know how to react, but then he will probably start doing his little display. And she'll start, start doing her display, and they will officially become mates. But after that, they will have to deal with the Mutos. Now, having two Godzillas to deal with, the Mutos will find themselves at a tight situation. Like, say, Gorgira can handle the male on her own. She can handle, it, handle the male because she's more faster and more agile than Godzilla is. So she can handle the male Muto just fine. She can easily keep up with him. Let's like let's let's even say that she starts climbing on buildings and jumping being on building the building trying to get the male while well, Godzilla is busy dealing with the female Muto. And while the female Muto is being literally slaughtered by Godzilla uh, male Muto will try to get to head to Godzilla to get him off female Muto, but he needs to shake Gorgirin off of him. But with Gorgirin how the way she is, she's faster and more agile, and she is literally keeping up with him like it's nothing. And let's say after uh, Gorgirin kills Male Muto, Godzilla eventually, with the help of Gorgirin, kills the female Muto, and they both destroy the nest. Godzilla wouldn't be as exhausted as he was in the film because he had backup. Since he had backup, he would probably not be as exhausted. He'll be a little exhausted, but not too exhausted to the point where he will fall to the ground and be unconscious. 
So both him and Gorgirin would roar triumphantly, and and Godzilla and Gorgirin officially become um, mates. And so Godzilla and Gorgirin would swim off to the ocean, and yeah. Now during the events of let's say Godzilla aftershock. Let's say Godzilla is a bit more aggressive now because he has a mate. Because most animals, most male animals will get aggressive because rather one, it's the mating season, or two, because they have a mate. That and they have offspring. Now, we're not going to jump into Godzilla and Gorgirin having offspring, not, not yet, at least. Not until we get to Godzilla Dominion. Or, or better yet, King of the Monsters. So, Godzilla will be a bit more aggressive. He'll be more violent towards Muto Prime. And the reason why Godzilla will act like this is because he knows Muto Prime is a Godzilla killer. He's going to go after Gorgira next. So, Godzilla is not wanting to let Muto Prime have that opportunity where he where he'll go after Gorgira next. No, 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 no. God's not having that. Um, Gorgira might appear a few times, but after that he'll probably go back. Because Godzilla is being like extremely protective of her because both him and her are currently the last of their kind. And let's say when Muto Prime is about to kill Godzilla instead of Monarch distracting Muto Prime, Gorgira fires her con breath at Muto Prime, distracting him long enough for Godzilla to grab Muto Prime and use his nuclear pulse and crush Muto Prime's head. After that, Godzilla would go home with Gorgira extremely injured. Now for the events of King of the Monsters. Now, King of the Monsters takes place five years after the events of 2014. Which will give Godzilla and Gorgirin plenty of time to settle down and start a family. Now, if Gorgirin lays eggs in, or if Gorgirin has eggs in King of the Monsters, this will make both her and Godzilla extremely aggressive towards Monarch, which means Monarch wouldn't immediately make their bait base right in Godzilla's territory, because as a result, it's going to make Godzilla more aggressive. He's going to see anything that moves as a threat. Now, if the babies are born in King of the Monsters, then Godzilla is still going to be protective, no matter what. He's going to be protecting his bloodline. He's going to be protecting not just his mate, but his bloodline. Let's say, for this scenario, he only has, like, only one baby. It could be a male or a female, whichever one you choose. Just in the comments below. Now, if Godzilla senses Ghidorah awakening, then he's going to head straight towards Antarctica, because... Not going to have Ghidorah kill off Gorgirin and his son, son or daughter. 